Okay, here's question 2A from the May 2019 Standard Level Mathematics MIP E Assessment. What we have to do is find the length of BC, and we've got a right angle triangle, so I am thinking straight away, a right angle triangle, need to find a side, I'm going to use Pythagoras. Now you do have your formula booklet with, uh, I'm pretty sure Pythagoras' theorem is in here. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, here we go. So you're finding the longest side, then it's the longest side squared equals the sum of the other two sides squared. So going back and finding a shorter side. So shorter side, shorter begins with S. So I'm going to subtract because it begins with S. So BC squared equals, what's the longest one? 35. Finding the shorter side, so I subtract minus 28 squared, and we put this into our calculator. And I'm using the Desmos calculator for this because this is the one that you will have to use on the exam. They'll have it built in. It's no longer the Texas one going forward, I think for 2021 anyway. 35 squared minus 28 squared equals 441 and then I need to square root that so PC is equal to square root answer 21 okay so that's nice three marks let's keep going Question B. Triangle ABC is reflected in the horizontal line AC as shown. The shape is reflected in the vertical line passing through A. Select the figure which shows the shape after this final reflection. Okay, so let me just read that one more time. So triangle ABC is reflected in the horizontal line AB, AC as shown. Okay, so that's the reflection. Then it's reflected in the vertical line passing through point A. So what is the reflection? Okay, so you have to select your option. So this is the original, it gets flipped over and then reflected in this dotted line. So looking at these, this one does not look <laughs> correct. Um, this just looks like the whole thing is just being translated over. However, I can see this one looks like a reflection in this dotted line, okay? This is the same distance from the dotted line as the reflection point B. The, this is also the same distance from this point. And this one, yeah, that just doesn't look correct at all. So option B is what we would select. Let me just write that down, so for B. B. Now moving on. Okay, determine the perimeter of the final ship formed after the reflections. So I've taken option B out here and I want the perimeter of so the final shape after the reflection, so the perimeter is the total distance around this shape. So I know that this is 28. I know that this distance, which is what I've worked out, is 21. This is 21, 21, 21. So I could just add these all up, 21 plus 28 plus 28 plus 21 and so on. Um, I'm not adding up the 35s because that is not the perimeter. The perimeter is the outside distance. Um, I could just do 21 plus 28. And then I've got how many lots of those? 1, 2, 3, 4. I can multiply that by 4. So if I put that into my calculator. 21 plus 28. And 
changing my answer times by 4, 196. That was part C. So if you have any questions on that, just let me know.